from Stanford University, it's theCUBE, covering Global Women in Data Science Conference. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Good morning and welcome to theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin and we are live at the global fourth annual Women in Data Science Conference at the Arriaga Alumni Center at Stanford. I'm very pleased to be joined by one of the WIDS ambassadors this year, Srujana Kadavarmuth, Data Science Senior Manager, Accenture at Google. And as I mentioned, you are an ambassador for WIDS in Bangalore. The event is Saturday. Srujana, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, pleasure is mine. So this is the fourth annual Women in Data Science Conference. This year, over 150 regional events, of which you are hosting Bangalore on Saturday, March 9th. 50 plus countries, they're expecting 100,000 people mm -hmm. to engage. Tell us a little bit about how you got to be involved in WIDS. Yeah, so I care about data science, but also about accurate representation of women and gender minority in the space. And I think WIDS Global Initiative is doing an amazing job in creating a significant impact globally. And that kind of excited me to get involved with WIDS Initiative. So you have, which I can't believe, you are an SME with 10 plus years experience and data analytics, focusing on marketing and customer analytics. Uh, you've had senior analytics leadership positions at Accenture, Hewlett Packard, now Google. Tell me a little bit about, before we get into some of the things that you're doing, specifically the Datathon, your experience as a female in technology the last 10 plus years. Yeah, it's been exciting. I started my career as an engineer. I wanted to be a doctor. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, it couldn't happen and I ended up, ended up being an engineer. Uh, and it has been an exciting ride since then. I felt that I uh, had a passion for doing pursuing management um, and I pursued management and specialization uh, with operational research and project management. And I started my career as a data scientist, worked my way up uh, to different leadership positions and currently um, I'm leading a portfolio for Accenture um, at Google, um, yeah, in the data science domain. Yeah, it's exci exciting. Absolutely, also. so one of the things that is happening this year at WIDS 2019 is the second annual Datathon. That's right. Really looking at uh, a predictive analytics challenge for social impact. Tell us a little bit about why WIDS is doing this Datathon and what you're doing in that, respectively, in Bengaluru. Okay, so, uh, you see, uh, data science in itself is a highly interdisciplinary domain, um, and it requires people from different disciplines to come together, look at the problem from different perspectives, to be able to come up with the most amicable and optimal solution at any given point of time. And Datathon is one such avenue that fosters this collaboration. And Datathon is also an interesting avenue because it helps young data science enthusiasts hone the required data science skill sets, and also helps the data science practitioners enhance and sustain their skill sets. And that's the reason and WITS Bangalore was keen on supporting WITS Global Datathon Initiative. So the skill set, so I'd like to kind of dig into that a bit because we're very familiar with those required data analytics skill sets from a, a subject matter expertise perspective. But there's other skill sets that we talk about more and more with respect to data science and analytics and that's um, empathy, it's communication, negotiation. Can you talk to us a little bit about how some of those other skills help these Datathon participants, not just in the actual event, but to further their careers? Absolutely, so when you enter the real world, so there are a lot of these challenges wherein you would require a domain expert, you would require someone who has a coding uh, experience, someone who has uh, experience to handle multiple data sites uh, programmatically, and also you need someone who has a background of statistics and mathematics. Uh, so you would need different people to come together, look at the problem, and then be able to solve the challenges, right? So collaboration is extremely pivotal, it's extremely extremely important for us to put ourselves in other shoes and see, a look at the problem, and looking at the problem from different perspective and collaboration are the key to be able to be successful in data science domain as uh, such. Okay, so let's get into the specifics about this year's data set and the teams that were involved in the Datathon. All right, so this year's Datathon was uh, focused on using satellite imagery to analyze the scenario of deforestation caused through oil palm plantations. So what we did at uh, with Bangalore is we conducted a community workshop because our research indicated that 
men dominated the Kegel leaderboard, uh, not just in Bangla, but for India in general, despite that region having amazing female data scientists who are innovators in their space with multiple patents, publications, and innovations to their credit. Uh, so we asked few questions to certain female data scientists to understand what could be the potential reason for their lower participation on the Kegel as a platform. Uh, and their responses led us to these three reasons. Firstly, they may not have the awareness about Kegel as a platform. Can you tell me a little bit more about that platform so our viewers can understand that? Right, so Kegel is a platform wherein a lot of these data sets uh, have been posted. If anybody is interested to hone the required data science skill sets, they can definitely try, explore, build uh, some codes and submit those codes. And uh, the teams that are submitting the codes, uh, which are very effective, having greater accuracy, would get scored on the Kegel leaderboard. And you know that uh, which is the most effective uh, solution that can be implemented in the real world. Uh, so we connected this uh, in a Datathon workshop, and one of the challenges that most of the female data scientists face is having an environment to network, collaborate, um, and come up with a team to be able to attempt a specific Datathon challenge uh, uh, that is in hand. So we connected a Datathon workshop to help participants overcome this challenge and uh, to encourage them to participate in the WITS uh, Global Data Fund Challenge. So what we did as a part of this workshop was we uh, gave a demo on how to navigate Kegel as a platform and we conducted an event uh, specifically focused on networking so that participants could network from teams. We also conducted a deep uh, in-depth technical session focusing on deep neural nets and specifically on convolutional neural nets, the understanding of which was pivotal to be able to solve this year's Datathon challenge. And the most interesting part of this uh, Datathon workshop was the mentorship guidance. We were able to line up some amazing mentors and assign these mentors to the concerned uh, or the interested participating teams. And these mentors work with their respective teams for the next three weeks and provide them with the required guidance, coaching, uh, and mentorship, and help them through their Datathon journey. That's fantastic. So over a three-week period, how many participants did uh, you have? There were around 110 plus people 110 for the plus. event. Yeah, for the wow. event, and there were multiple teams that were formed, and we assigned those mentors. Uh, we we uh, identified seven different mentors and assigned these mentors to the interested participating teams. We got a great response in terms of amazing turnout for the event. New teams got formed, new relationships got initiated. New relationships, new collaborations. All right, tell us about those achievements. So there were, uh, there was one team from engineering uh, branch or engineering division who were uh, very new to the Kegelis platform. Uh, they have their engineering exams coming up, but despite that, they learned a lot of these new concepts. They formed the team, they worked together as a team, and we were able to submit the code uh, on the Kegel leaderboard. Uh, they were not the top scoring team, but this entire experience of being able to collaborate, look at the problem from different perspective, and be able to submit the code despite a lot of these challenges, and also navigate the platform in itself was a decent achievement from my perspective. A huge achievement, <laughs> yeah. a huge yeah. achievement. So here you are at Stanford today, you're gonna to be flying back to go host the event there. Tell us about, from your perspective, if, if we look at the future line of sight for data science, let's just take a, a peek at the momentum this, that this WIDS movement mm -hmm. is generating. This is our fourth year covering this mm -hmm. fourth annual event, fourth year on the Cube, and we see tremendous, tremendous uh, momentum mm -hmm. with not just females participating uh, and the WIDS leaders providing this sustained education throughout the year, the podcast, for example, Absolutely. that they released a few months ago on Google Play and iTunes, but also the number of participants worldwide. Mm -hmm. As you look at where we are today, what, in your perspective, is the future for data science? All right, so data science as a domain is evolving at a lightning speed and may possibly hold a solution to almost all the challenges faced by humanity in the near future. Uh, but to be able to come up with the most amicable and sustainable solution that's more relevant uh, to the domain, achieving diversity in this field is a must. And initiatives like WITS help achieve that diversity and foster a greater impact. Absolutely. Well, Sarujana, thank you so much for joining sure. me on theCUBE this morning, live from WIDS 2019. We appreciate that. Wish you the best of luck thank at you. the WIDS uh, local event in Bangalore over the weekend. Thank you. Uh, it was a pleasure discussing with you. Likewise. Lisa. Thank you. We want to thank you. You're watching theCUBE live from Stanford University at the fourth annual WIDS conference. I'm Lisa Martin. Stick around. My next guest will join me in just a moment.